Charlie. Hey there, Dennis. How are you? I'm just fine. I'm so glad we could talk today. Yes. I'm in my car, so if you hear any, uh, any uh, road noise, that's why. That's fine. I'm, I'm in my dining room, in my kitchen. Okay, so you're in, you should have no road noise. No, no roadblocks. And I've got my iPad open and my uh, cell phone on, and uh, I'm, I'm excited about proceeding with the AARP. So, you know, who have you talked to there? Well, I've only talked to people at conferences. And I talked to Joanne Jenkins uh, in 2016 when she gave a wonderful talk. And I ran behind the stage and, and interviewed her. I've got a video of the uh, uh, of the actual speech, but there's a video on YouTube. And I spoke to about five or six other people there, but uh, they they have offices in Boston all over the place, uh, and they they have an elaborate uh, RFP process to go through. And, and when you interviewed Joanne, what was the the topic of your interview? I I was able just to capture as she was leaving the stage and say, my name is Charlie Atkinson. I've got I'm a, I've invented a new framework that can really help with uh, disrupt aging, and I'd like to be in touch with you and uh, see if we can work together. That that was it. Okay, and what did she say? She Other said, than casual, the cordial, yes, you know, sure, reach out to my staff or whatever. Right? Yeah, that, that kind of thing. So, you know, have you looked at some of the programs they're doing now on their that I talked to you about, where they're doing all the, uh, the well, local? I've looked at the uh, AARP magazine, which is chock full of things that are, that, that uh, w w the content we could just deliver better. And I, I've seen several of their packages, multimedia packages, uh, very cursorily. But it, it seems to me uh, that I, I, we need to find a way to get right to the top and get them and, and get some sponsorship without going through several months of a, a fire drill. Well, I'm going to be in New York next week meeting. Uh, I have these workshops and things that I'm doing for the project I'm on. But in the one of the evenings, I'll be meeting with. Jeannie Meister, who has met with the AARP and has talked to them about, you know, this uh, aging and things like that, and get some more info from her on how we might be able to approach, uh, you know, the AARP in a more systematic manner. But is your thought that we go in under the whole brain framework? I, and, uh, I, I think and we're... Derive from that? Uh, my take is... Since AARP is a nonprofit, and the Whole Brain Foundation is a nonprofit, and and has far more uh, is far more up and running uh, than Whole Systems International, that we lead with we lead with the Whole Brain Foundation, uh, and find a way to uh, get them to consider a a, a proposal. Consider us what? A proposal. A proposal. Consider that we submit a proposal to them. Yeah. For for a grant, primarily, or for uh, other things. Well, I saw it as two. Uh, I'm open to whatever you think, but I saw it either as a grant to help us to help fund our curriculum development, or uh, funding. Uh, and, and that could be at any le any level, but funding uh, maybe at a hundred thousand dollars as one of a consortium of organizations where they're part of it, and that we would deliver during 2020 uh, over a year uh, deliver training to their their own staff. And when you say their own staff training on on personal lifestyle skills. That they, in the video I watched, they do 
a lot of staff training uh, as well as uh, their 100 million members. And, do you, and would you, so if they gave us a grant or they gave us a funding, would, would it still be considered you want to do independent branded content that would be the whole brain or would it be co-sponsored content with AARP or co Co-owned content. Oh, I want to do everything collaboratively. Uh, well, uh, well, collaboratively, but I'm talking about, you know, who owns the content. If they give us a grant, we still own the content. If they give us, uh, if they're sponsors, we still own the content. Or are we considering that we would co-brand and also allow them to collaborate and contribute to the content so that they would also feel ownership? I'm trying to figure out in your mind. How do you feel this ends up in terms of the content? Because you know, we would want to be able to use the content outside of AARP, right? Oh, absolutely. But uh, in, I'll, I'll send you this uh, short video of 2016 uh, from uh, Joanne uh, Jenkins, and she is collaborating with everybody in the world and is encouraging entrepreneurs and encouraging... Uh, she's not... Uh, a nonprofit who's trying to own everything. Uh, I'm, she, she, she strikes me as someone who will cut a deal. Okay. And so in terms of the, the process for engaging with them, I'll ask Jeannie, you know, what her current, uh, you know, sort of talks and current the relationship is with Joanna ARP. But in terms of grants and other ideas, do they have a process? or a uh, intake identified on their website as to how that would begin or how we would go through that. But then we could say, hey, you know, she says, well, you know, go through this process. We could say, oh, we already started that process. What we're looking for is more of a blessing and, uh, and a uh, sort of champion. Or, is, or are we going to bypass that process and try to convince her to just go directly to us without any other sort of – uh, administrative hierarchy nonsense. Uh, your idea was to hit, go with them hard, and I don't believe that we should limit ourselves to any one strategy. Uh, I can do my best to find out what the intake process is, and uh, I'd like to. I think we should go at every level. Okay, and do you have uh, not that we would take the current? Whole systems, moonshot, mind shot, deck, and alter it specifically for ARP, or is it generic enough that we would use that and not have to do any additional customization or tailoring? Uh, I, if we get an opportunity to talk with them by Zoom or any other way, I think we should tailor that presentation so that it rhymes with the mind shot and it rhymes with AARP. Um, is there is there a local AARP chapter that you you're working with in Boston that's affiliated with the main? Dennis, rem remember, I'm 83. Right. I've got a thousand opportunities. I'm I'm just I've got, I'm going to Harvard Medical School this afternoon. I've got meetings with the Harvard Advocate tomorrow morning. I'm meeting with Partners Healthcare on Tuesday, uh, but I'm I, I'm not capable of managing it. I can support it and get the, and op, open doors, but I, I need I need more I need uh, help in going in. All right, all right. Well, let me uh, let me talk to Jean on Wednesday. Let me get her feedback around how we might want to approach this. In the meantime, uh, do I have the latest deck from uh, from the whole brain? Is what we covered in the last board called the latest deck? What what I sent you were several links this morning, and I'll just yeah, tell you. I've been in meetings outside of the office all day. I'm just heading back now, so that's right. I haven't seen anything. Well, I, I, I don't expect you to. I just sent it that early afternoon, but I want to tell you what I sent you. Okay. I sent a a preliminary spreadsheet of uh, 
top opportunity, top, top prospects that I'm qualifying. And each one of those is a, and I added, uh, uh, Kerry Healy and Milliken to it, that list that you sent me. The list that you sent? You sent me a, a, a Milliken Institute. Oh, Milliken, yes. Uh, they're another example of a perfect collaborator. Yeah, the, uh, the Institute for the Aging, yeah. If we can get, if we can get, uh, an interest in, in a, the way I see it is getting 10, 10 organizations at 100,000 each, uh, and then go around and, and get everyone to throw 100,000 to get the pot started. Uh, that'll give us a million dollars. And so th that uh, if we had some preliminary level of interest in, in being one member of that consortium, then I think we can round the others up pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get the first guy, the first ones to go on board, and then everybody else will follow the herd, especially if it's a big one, like the AARP or the Milken Institute, exactly. But all the names that I have on my, on that list that you'll see are big ones. Uh, and uh, besides knowing or having met Joanne and knowing her tangentially, are any on the list people that you have any deep relationships with other than a surface relationship? Every, almost everyone on the list I have a deep relationship with. Okay, great. Uh, whether it's uh, uh, flagship partners or uh, uh, Haven Healthcare with Atul Gawande and Bezos or, or J.P. Morgan Chase and the uh, head of investments there or... Uh, Connected Health Partners. I've got, I have, my, my contacts and relationships runneth over, Dennis. I just, I just need, need to, uh, help, help in capitalizing on them. Got it. Okay. So, so, so one thing that I've sent is that spreadsheet. And, and you'll see that it's preliminary. But everything in the spreadsheet will get poured into salesforce.com, which we have. Right. And we have maybe several thousand names. Uh, there's no shortage of, of opportunities. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, you yeah, know, the key thing is choosing the right ones. Yeah. So I tried to pick my thoughts on the top, on the top ones, and I think the AR, AARP is right near the, right at the top. All right, well, let me uh, take a look at what you sent me. I'll send you a follow-up email on my thoughts around how we might approach it. I'll talk to Jeannie on Wednesday, and then next Friday uh, I should be back from New York, and we can have another call. Um, by, the, by the way, I also sent you the, a, a revised letter of intent. And that letter of intent... Of what? Uh, for the Mindshot Project. And that has all the links in, in it and all the references and all the background material, uh, including the pitch deck in, in the exhibits. I, I, I may shoot you an email directing you to look at special places. Okay. Well, Dennis, uh, uh, we're, we're at the launching pad. And now we, we've got to find someone to launch to. We need the fuel for the, rock, for the rocket boosters. We absolutely need the fuel. And uh, uh, we have a short fuse. So uh, I'm so thrilled that you're helping out. And I, I've got other people like uh, Irma Rastagayeva uh, who, who can lead the charge on proposals. It would be just great if Joe would help us formulate a uh, commission plan, I was thinking of something like 25% for anybody who is an account exec. Oh, yeah, well, we, we can talk to Joe about that on a separate call. Okay. I haven't given any thought to that level of the uh, of the engagement, but I'll focus on the, on the strategic approach. Well, I, 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 we're, Hio and I are here 
and we can support you with anything you need. With it, if it's a proposal, if it's a reference, if it's we'll we, we'll do the work. But we need okay. we we need we. I want you to be my boss. Got it. All okay. Right. Okay, boss. All right, man. Bye, bye. Yeah.